Hey boys and girls, today we're gonna to talk about checking spring height. We're gonna show you how we R&D a custom spring kit uh, where you have Rick Newman's RHS LS7 head that we are going to use a manly spring. And um, let me show you what we're talking about. The RHS head that we're using doesn't accept a factory valve length. So we had to go the extra mile and get Manly to make us a custom length. First step, put the valves in. So we're gonna use this nifty spring checker. So it has a zero here and then the height, it's like a little height mic. It has these little numbers here, that'd be 1800 right so we're going to stick this in here and we're going to see what height we're at now and then we're going to check the spring so the retainer sits on top of the height mic you just run this dude down tom rosano from manly performance hooked us up with this next tech dual spring without a dampener this char this car is going to see like 20 30 pounds of boost so, and when it's gonna have a solid roller, we need a really badass spring. Let's see if it works. So if you notice, this spring is supposed to set up at 235 at the, on the seat at 1950, and open is 610 at 1250. So you subtract these two and you see how far you are from cool bind. Well, if you remember, we are at 1840, plus we have to add the locator. So the math, we need a longer valve. So we set up in our trusty Buxton spring checker. We are at 1.8. 40. Well, actually, no, we're at 1 800, right? Because we have to add the locator. Math is everything when it comes to. See, I'm an idiot. It, math is everything when it comes to setting this stuff up. Now, this spring is not meant to install that. We have 765 lift, enter, and then we. Coil bind error. This is because that's totally wrong. But we need a longer valve, right? So let's add a hundred thousands to this. So we're gonna clear this. We can get a hundred longer valve. Enter 765, see if this spring works. Press our button. No. We are 18 thousandths from coil bind. 242 on the seat, 671 open, pressure. So our R&D is not done. We're too close to coal bind. We can't use the spring and the valve the way it is. Well, we definitely want the spring. We don't want the length of the valve. We need another 20 to 30 to be comfortable uh, to bind height. So we're gonna probably try a different lock or moving the valve up or the valve lock up. And um, we're gonna have to make sure that the rockers fit. Stay tuned and see how this project comes out.